What's up everybody, Billy from Typical Reviews here and today we're going to be unboxing and doing a quick little setup of the 2015 Google Chromecast. For a more detailed look at this device and how it improves upon the old one, check the description below for a previous video on a whole bunch of media streaming devices that I took a look at. Compared to the 2013 model, this Chromecast has improved Wi-Fi performance, 802.11ac Wi-Fi support, and it also supports 5GHz wireless bands as well. Let's open this bad boy and let's see what we get inside. Fantastic. So for this one over here, we don't have to use an unboxing knife since it looks like it's just a little tab over here. But let's take a look at what it includes inside the box here. So we have the new Chromecast. So as you can see, it's now a circular design rather than in a little kind of plug-in thing that you put into the TV. There is still an HDMI cord. It's kind of attached to this kind of longer part over here. But when we get this thing open, we'll take a more detailed look at it itself. So here are some of the apps that they're going to support. You know, you got your YouTube, your Netflix, Crave TV, MLB TV. Google Play and whatnot. On the side here, it just tells you what it supports. So HD streaming from the cloud, so 1080p support, surround sound, 2.5 and 5 gigahertz, uh, screen mirroring supported from Android devices, and it supports a whole bunch of other devices, you know, for your iPhones, your iPads, your Macs, your Windows, your Chromebooks, basically anything connected to your network should be able to kind of stream to this here. You can see on the back some uh, wonderful minions. We know typical gamer loves those. And uh, how it kind of connects, all you have to do is press the cast button within the app as long as it supports it. So now let's actually just uh, crack this thing open. Let's see what we got. So just a little, I oh know the pull tab stopped. Let's finish the job. <laughs> so we have that there. And then we just kind of pull in this part here. Oh, fantastic. It really simplifies it by trying to give you the instructions right away. So one, two, three step process, plug it into your power and TV, switch your TV inputs, and then set it up using your phone, tablet, or laptop. So we're actually gonna also demonstrate that as well, but let's see what you actually get Ooh, when you buy this. Oh, that is really, really cool. Oh, that is fantastic. That is really cute. It's a nice little circular design there. And as you can see, the uh, USB, I swear, rather, the HDMI cable comes out the other way over there. It's a little bit longer. And it's also even magnetized on the back here, so, you can have, kind of have it set up in a way behind your TV so things aren't really intrusive. You can even see the magnet um, right over here as well. So it's pretty cool. So there's your power, your uh, USB power for it. And there's the uh, reset switch on the side. And that means the rest of the box should also include that in here as well. Yes, it indeed does. So you can go ahead and plug this into your wall outlet. Or if your TV now has a USB outlet, you can also use that as well and then plug the other end into your Chromecast, like so. And there you have everything that comes in the packaging itself. So I'm actually gonna take this all and plug it into my little TV and I'm gonna demonstrate setting it up and even trying it out a little bit. Fantastic, so we've gone ahead, connected the Chromecast to the television, plugged it into its power, and now we just turned it onto our HDMI input, and now we're greeted with the Set Me Up display screen. So we're gonna go ahead on our phone and actually enter that URL right into it and get this thing going. So when you head over there, it'll direct you to download the app from your respective app store, especially if you're using it on a phone or tablet. And once you've downloaded the app, go through there to go through the instructions to actually setting it up. In my case, I have to actually go into the Wi-Fi, select it from the Wi-Fi network to directly connect to it. So the SSID on the Wi-Fi will actually be the same one over here, Chromecast 2066. So I'm going ahead and connecting to that right now. So I've connected it via Wi-Fi and now I've opened up the Chromecast app and now I'm greeted to actually connect to the device itself. Next it'll ask me if I see the code on the TV, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that I do indeed see the code. I'm gonna select my region, which is Canada in this case, and now I can actually identify it. So let's just go ahead and change the name on there. So now that it's actually loading up for the first time, it's also trying to find some new updates from Google as well. So this might take a few minutes, but just let it run its course. And once you're done all your updates, you're gonna be greeted to be actually able to start using the Google Chromecast. And once you have everything set up, you can start casting content to it. So for example, I'm just gonna go on YouTube and just pick a random video and cast any content you want, just like this one. And your phone or tablet or computer will be just like the remote for this device. So you can even pause directly from it, continue playing from where you left off, all controlled by your device. The Google Chromecast is a fantastic little device. It'll make any TV a smart TV for less than 50 bucks. You absolutely cannot go wrong with picking up one of these. Thank you to our good friends over at Google for sending this one over here. And if you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to press that like button. And if you already haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can get more content just like this one. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.